Hello, Facebook family. Day two of the hashtag Live Better Thankful series. I want to thank you so much for everyone who's been participating. It's been awesome to hear what you're thankful and grateful for. And I cannot wait to see more of you jump into this series. It is something that, like I said before, I really think that it's going to help create a culture of inspiration and gratefulness and gratitude, not only throughout the month of November, but starting there and then carrying through throughout the rest of the months of the year. So I want to thank you all so much for doing this. Um, it really means the world to me and I can't wait to see more of you jump into this. If you are camera shy, I'm going to challenge you to do at least one video this month, whether that takes you a week or all the way to day 30, I am going to challenge you to post one video on your Facebook wall, just letting your circle of influence know who and what you're thankful and grateful for. If you are kind of like, hey, this video thing is kind of intriguing, I'm going to challenge you to do it twice a week. Uh, you know, pick two days that you can post a video and just be intentional about thinking about the things in your life that you're thankful and you're grateful for. I'm going to jump right into this. There are three things that I am thankful for today. The first thing is patience from my husband, Joshua. As many of you guys know, those of you who don't know, we got married in May. We've been dating for about three and a half years and he was born 100% deaf and I was obviously born 100% hearing. And so joining our two worlds together has been something that hopefully later down the road I'll write a book about. but. On a daily basis, this man provides me patience beyond understanding words can describe. Uh, so our relationship communication-wise looks different from most relationships. He talks to me, I sign to him. So as you can imagine, just having learned sign, that is, that is a skill and that is a language that takes time to cultivate. And since I've only been really signing full-on words and trying to intentionally learn words, it's only been about a year now. You can imagine conversations are very choppy and I can get frustrated so quickly. And this man shows me patience beyond measure. So I just want to thank you, Joshua, for the patience that you provide and you show me every single day. It's something that inspires me more than you know and I'm so grateful for that. The second thing, which is so funny, I was on my way to the gym earlier this, uh, this evening and I'm sitting there complaining about the car ride. It's a 20 minute car ride, and I was complaining about it. I was complaining to Josh, oh, I don't wanna drive 20 minutes to the gym, that's just so long, I can't do it. And I stopped in my tracks, and I thought to myself, how am I complaining about a 20 minute drive when I'm thinking about a kid in Africa who will never see a car in their life? They will never own a car, they will never have access to a car. And that 20 minute drive for them would probably take half a day to a day to travel there and travel back. And here I am sitting there in my car, my, the luxury of my car, driving to the gym, complaining. And so I, I took a step back and I was like, no, I can't, I cannot do this. I have to, I have to learn to create this and cultivate this attitude of thankfulness. So. I'm gonna challenge you, the next time that you get into your car, I'm sure it's gonna be really hectic. You might have kids screaming, your husband on the phone, you know, whatever your chaos is in your life and you are stepping into the car, I want you to take a moment and I want you to say, I'm so thankful for this car. This car gets me from A to B. You know, it might be a really old car, it might be a brand new car, but either way, it's a car and it gets you from A to B, so that's something you should be thankful and grateful for. So that's number two. Number three, I'm so thankful for this squeaking dog in the background. As many of you dog lovers and cats and hamsters, whatever your pet is, you guys know the love that your pet gives to you every single day. It's unconditional and it's something that you will never earn, they just give it to you. They, you know, they give it to you from day one. And so I'm so grateful for Macro. And if you guys don't know, yes, we named Macro after Macronutrients. Um, I'm pretty proud of that and I love that name. I don't remember who, if you wanna comment in the comments below if you watch this video and you're like, hey, that was me. Remind me because I don't remember who gave us that name when we got Macro a couple years ago, but I'm so thankful for him and just the unconditional love that he provides. So tonight, I'm gonna to challenge you, or tomorrow, whenever you're watching this, 
go call your pet, grab them, kiss them, love on them, and just say, I'm so thankful for you. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you for the unconditional love you provide. Yes, they don't understand human words, but they understand your body language even more than you probably know. And so that in and of itself, this dog right here, that's Macro, he's an English cream. Just say, I am so thankful for you. Um, anyways, those are my three things that I'm thankful for today. I cannot wait to hear yours and see yours. Be sure to hashtag Ledbetter Thankful so I can see them, comment on them, and encourage and inspire you to keep cultivating this attitude of gratefulness and thankfulness because I guarantee you are going to inspire and you already are inspiring people around you by doing so. All right, guys, that's it. This is day two wrapping up. Thank you so much for your encouragement and your support. Again, don't forget to hashtag Live Better Thankful, and I will see you tomorrow. Mwah.